The game code used in this video for the Sims 4 Cats and Dogs expansion pack was received from EA. Hey guys, what's up? It's Pixelade here and welcome back to part number four of Let's Play The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. And we're picking up exactly where we left off in the last part. I love this lot because look at the view. You could just see the water, the coastline. Like I can see this world right now with Seasons and it would look so beautiful. And I really hope that Seasons is the next expansion pack just because of that. But we're going to go ahead and give Sadie a bath because as you can see, she's pretty dirty. And I wonder if we can ask her what's wrong because I've been seeing that interaction on live streams, but I've yet to see it anywhere in here. Oh, uh, OK, I see. So you can say ask uh, you can ask them to go potty The quite the <laughs> Matt speak correctly. What is wrong with you? What I meant to say, like, is um, put it down in the comment section below. Like, can your dogs go potty on their own? Or do you actually have to ask them to go potty and let them out? Because I'm kind of, like, confused about that. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and ask her to go potty. So you can do that. That's cute. Oh, and a little, that's cute. Oh, oh, that's right. I forgot, totally forgot about our aspirations. Have a pet in your household. So we got that one. Be friends with one animal. We got that one. Which animal are we friends with? Are we friends with Cyrus? We're friends with Cyrus, Sadie, and Mocha, which is nice. That's cool. That's cool. Be friendly with 12... Or wait, no, be, be, be friendly with 12 animals. Yeah, Matt, that's totally what it says. Be friendly with animals 12 times, 10 out of 12. So that's always interesting. And of course we will get that up in the future. So let's go ahead and watch her go potty because we can send her out. The real question is, do they pee or do they poo? I guess they do both because in create a sim or in create a pet mode, they poo. Sadie is hungry. You can help her by giving her a treat or filling a food bowl. Her food bowl is filled. What do you mean? Call pet to eat and call Sadie to eat. I thought your pet, your food bowl is filled. Uh oh. Oh, that's cute. How they now go poo. Like in The Sims 3, all they did was go pee, but now they can actually go poo. That's really cool. So, what happens if we leave the poo? Like, do you guys know what happens? And look, there's little flies flying around it. What happens if we leave the poo? That's what I want to know. That's funny. <laughs> Oh, pet obsessions. Like almost all pets, Mocha can get inexplicably obsessed about things around the house. Keep an eye out on your furry companions to discover their unique interests. That's really cool. So, well, I guess it'll take time to really find out what uh what they're interested in. Oh, and look, we have another moodlet here. We have warm fuzzies from Pampering Your Pet. Pampering a pet makes... Hey, come back. Pampering your pet makes Chance feel just as good as them. And it actually boosts his playful mood, which is really, really, really cool. Awesome. So what are you doing? I feel really bad for poor uh, Cyrus because we don't, haven't even been given him any attention. And it says requires having a ball in the inventory. You know what we'll do? We'll go out and we'll put a ball in our inventory. So let's actually take the soccer ball this time. And we will go ahead and play some fetch. How about that? Go ahead and play fetch. There we go. Lecture about eating uh, human food. <gasps> what? What? Oh, we have to do that. We have to do that. We have to do that. Lecture about eating human food. I wonder if that's under pet care. It's not. Wow. Is it under training? It's not. That's really funny. Lecture about eating human food. Tell them that you cannot be eating human food. Be nice to brush. Encourage to make. Get to know. Hug. Pamper on couch. That's really cute. Why did we throw it into the bush? Why did we, why? Uh, no. <laughs> That's really cute. Here, go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. That's cute. That is so adorable. Oh, he gave up. He gave up. Go figure. Don't leave the ball out there. That ball is not free, okay? Collect it. Come get it. Come get your ball. Actually, if we can we just pick it up? Or is he gonna Okay, he's gonna pick it up. Alright, don't play fetch anymore. Don't play fetch anymore. Go ahead and oh, can we not do it anymore? Oh, I really wanted to do um oh calm him down. Why? Is he upset or something? Oh from training stress. Okay, that makes sense. 
Okay, so we can actually ask him what's wrong. How can you help Cyrus feel better? First, let's go ahead. Oh, so he's unhappy. I didn't know that he was unhappy. Well, let's calm him down and then we'll ask him what's wrong. We'll do that. They're going to interact with each other. Are you growling at it? Don't growl at him. Don't growl at him. Oh my god, there's stray dogs everywhere. Zoe and Chiquito. Oh my gosh, guys. We're going to end up having an animal farm. Like, we're going to have animals Please. everywhere. I can see it now. What's wrong, Cyrus? <laughs> pet fears. No pet is truly fearless, even Mocha. Each pet has its own unique fears. So watch your pet to discover what spooks them. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. I love that. What, what's wrong? What do you not like? What's, what's scaring you? I think I missed it. There must have been like a little thought bubble that popped above his head. And I and I totally missed it. He's going to go ahead and scratch the scratching post now. That's cute. That's adorable. That's adorable. Alrighty. What's wrong? We praised you. Oh, cool. Alright, now, uh, what we're gonna do, guys, is we're going to go ahead and travel, because I told you guys I wanted to head out and actually explore the world, so the first place that we're going to explore is the, uh, Pupperstone Park, which is actually a dog-friendly park, so we're gonna head here with Chance, Sadie, and Cyrus, and we are going to actually focus on training, so we're going to start the training skill, which is really cool, so... I'm excited for that and I've been recording this LP non-stop you guys I haven't even like had a drink of water or anything like <laughs> I feel really crazy and I need some water I know it's bad and I put a little ATM in I don't know if um, the mod is going to work but I really want to get uh, a mod so that we can um, start our veterinary clinic I want to um, get a loan out so let's go ahead and get 25,000 credit do you guys think that's gonna be enough do you guys think that's gonna be enough yeah, let's get 25,000 credit for now. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll wait. We'll wait and we'll come back because I want to actually build the vet clinic first. That's what I want to do. And then after that, we'll come back and do all that. So let's go ahead and start. So let's have you go ahead and run the obstacle course with Sadie. And you can play with Cyrus. So do you have a pet ball? You do have a pet ball. Go ahead and give it to him. Yep, there you go. And then you can go ahead and play fetch with Cyrus. There we go. And you're going to go ahead and play out here? Is this? I guess, I guess so. Poor Sadie. We have to bathe her. I completely forgot to bathe her. I kind of feel bad. Level up. Chance has reached level one of the training skill. So Chance has acquired the pet training skill. He will be able to train dogs to sit, speak, fetch, roll over, and lie down, as well as show off their pet to other sims. That's really cool. All right, so here we go. So he's going to go ahead and train her. This is going to be so cute, guys. I know she stinks. We'll bathe her when we get home. But we have faults 1 out of 20. When a pet does something wrong, pet agility worldwide, Paul considers it a fault. This could be anything from a pet stalling to them going through the obstacle course incorrectly to them even not running. Oh, wait. I don't want to miss anything. I don't want to miss anything. So I'm just going to follow Sadie. There we go. If your pet is new, they might get confused through the run. Keep practicing with them to see them get better. Awesome. Oh, wait. I, I read the wrong thing. I read the wrong thing. To them, not even running through the obstacle at all, keeping your pets well trained to avoid this. Okay, so we have up to 20 faults. Hopefully she doesn't fail too much. And then this one says pet obstacle course. Run the pet obstacle course as quickly and accurately as possible. A basic course consists of hoops, ramps, weaving flags, platforms, and tunnels. If your pet is new, they might get confused throughout the run. Keep practicing with them to see them get better. So of course they're not gonna start out as good, but they will improve over time. And we do have a new moodlet here. We have Psy. They can't all be winners from watching Pet Fail Obstacle Course. This pet has no idea what it's doing. They completely failed their obstacle course run. And now Michael is fed up. Oh my god. Not bad, but not perfect. Sadie had a time of 51 minutes and 5 faults during their run. Make sure Michael gives them proper training and discipline before running the course again. So what can we do to them? Do we, like, talk to them about it? Or I'm kind of confused. Like... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if we should praise her. I don't know if we should praise her. But we're going to go ahead. Let's play with Sadie. 
let's go ahead and pet her. We will hug her, and I'm not sure if she's hungry or not, but we're going to give her a treat anyway, because she completed the obstacle course. You know, she didn't do, you know, the best that she could do, but she completed it, so I'm still going to give her a treat. And then go ahead, get to know her a little bit more. We will brush her. There's so many awesome interactions. I love it. I absolutely love it. And when we get home, we will bathe her. I will not forget this time, I promise. And he wants to vent to someone because he's feeling tense about this whole thing that happened at the dog park. And look at that. We completed the first step of our aspiration. So the second one is be friends with five animals, be companions with one animal, and successfully train out two misbehaviors. That's really cool. That's adorable. Oh, I love it. I love it. So cute. Oh. I love them, guys. I absolutely love them. Are you still playing fetch? Oh, that's so cute. I think they're still playing fetch. Yeah, he's feeling tense right now. He wants to shout forbidden words because he's stressed from training. That's so cute. All right, go ahead and pet him calmingly. Then after that, you can go ahead and pick up the ball. Yes, put it in your inventory. Put that in your inventory. Is that what you're doing now? No. No more fetch. No more fetch. Put it away. There we go. And pet her calmingly. Pet him. I keep calling it a heart. It's not a heart. It's a him. Pet calmingly. <laughs> Oh no, why are you sad? Cyrus, why are you sad? Look at that little walk. Oh my gosh. I feel bad because they're sad. I feel bad now. I feel like we should go home now. Because I don't want our pets to be sad. So I think we're going to go home, guys. That's cute. Oh, that's adorable. All right, I think we're going to go home now. Because we do have to tend to our needs. And I want to start thinking about the vet clinic soon because there's no way we're going to be able to survive on this forever. So you know what I am going to do? I am going to have them come over here and apply for a credit. Go ahead and apply for a... Should we do 50000 I feel like that's a little too much for them right now. But you know what? Let's do it. Let's go ahead and apply for a 50000 And then maybe we can have a little bit left over for the house. How about that? So hopefully the, this mod didn't break with the new patch. I'm hoping it works. Please work. Please work. It worked. Or did it? Did it work? Uh-oh. I, I think it's broken. I don't think it worked. I don't think it worked, guys. I do not think it worked. And they're both asleep. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, look. And there's little pet food stands everywhere. This is so exciting. There's, like, so much here and so much to explore. Like, oh, my God. I'm so excited. He's using the restroom right now. Uh, when you come out, go ahead and try this again here. Apply for 50,000 credit. Try it again. Please work. Yeah, I think the mod's broken, unfortunately. We might not be able to get out alone. Um, Try 25. Maybe that will work. Did it work? Nope, nothing. Nope, another broken mod, guys. Another broken mod. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I'm so very sad. Okay, we're gonna head home now. Our dogs are irritated. You can tell because he's a little orange thing over top of him. So let's go ahead and head home. We will go home with everybody. And then when we get home, we're gonna give some baths. We're gonna give some love. We're gonna do all that fun stuff. And I know we need to start thinking about what we're gonna do with the career. So... I don't know how the heck we're gonna, you know, start a, uh, a veterinary clinic if we can't take out a loan because we're like broke right now. There's a gourmet fruitcake outside of our house. I do not know why. I do not know why. Is it still good? There's eight of it left. You know what? Put it in your inventory. Put it in your inventory and let's like put it in the fridge. Heck yeah, that's free food, guys. That's free freaking food. All right, go ahead and fill the bowl. We'll do that. Actually, we'll get another bowl because I just realized, you know, it's better if we have separate bowls for the dog. So we'll get two pet bowls here. We'll get two pet bowls and we'll change the color. So Sadie's can be... What color should Sadie's be? I don't know. Sadie's will be the pink one and Cyrus will have the blue one. There we go. 
So come over here, go ahead and fill and call Sadie, and then fill and call... Oh no, not Mocha. Cyrus. <laughs> I almost messed that one up. Almost messed that one up. So they're coming inside. He's going to fill up the pit bowls. Go ahead. It costs money to fill these things up too. We need a job. Should I just have him get a normal job, guys? Because there's no way we're going to be able to afford this vet clinic. There's no way. Like, well, there's there's no way we'll be able to afford it right away, at least, if you feel me. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get some food. Let's open up the fridge. Go ahead and grab a serving of this. Take a piece. Oh, my God. We forgot to get a dining table. We forgot to get a dining table. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. How, how could I forget that? How in the world could I forget that? You know what? We're going to have them sit. We're going to have them talk because they've been so focused on the pets that they haven't had time to talk to each other, you know? Oh, no. What's wrong? Is it spoiled? Do you not like fruitcake? You don't like fruitcake? How do you not like fruitcake? All right. We're going to have them go ahead and just be friendly with each other right now. Oh, and I have a new follower on Origin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we're going to go ahead and ask about yep go ahead ask him about his day go ahead and oh cloud gazing apparently gets a relationship up fast but i want to sit here and eat right now so we're not gonna do that we're gonna complain about dish complain about this fruitcake tell him that this fruitcake is freaking disgusting because it is and look it was so disgusting he put it down and now mocha's chasing his tail oh it's so cute oh, i love it you guys i know i sound so stupid right now but they're so cute look at him he looks like he's about to eat it this is so cute, little mocha mocha, little mocha mochi, little mocha mochi. So cute. Wait, are they? Are they? Whoa! Be nice to each other. Enthuse about dogs. Yes. Enthuse about dogs. You guys need to work on your relationship. Like, I know you guys have a thing for each other, but we we have to make it you know steady now. So enthuse about dogs. Go ahead and discuss interests with each other. Go ahead and argue about music. No, don't do that. Don't do that. We'll gossip with them for a little bit. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully that goes well. What we need to do is we need to put a restaurant down in the town and we need to just go out and eat together. That's what we need to do, honestly. Well, at least the relationship's a little better. You need to bathe Sadie. She's disgusting. So go ahead and give a bath to Sadie. Come on, let's go. She needs a bath. Did she say yes? You better say yes. You look like a pile of mud, Sadie. <laughs> Let's be real. All right, this is the cute part. Here we go. Oh, bath time, Sadie. Oh, so cute. I love this, guy. Adorable. Adorable, adorable, adorable. What do you want to do? You want to get out in the city from apartment living, really. We don't live in an apartment. What are you talking about? And I know you guys have been commenting, Big Penguin TV. I did see a comment. So we're going to go ahead and make the Penguin TV a Big Penguin TV. There we go. Since you guys keep asking about it, <laughs> I'm going to make it a Big Penguin TV. <laughs> That's funny. Did someone pee in the house? Who peed in the house? Did you pee in the house? I don't know if you peed in the house or if you peed in the house. I wonder if I can discipline them for that. Do I have to ask them to go potty though? Or will they go on their own? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Well, let's, here, here we go. Here, ask them both to go potty. Let them out for the night. Go ahead. There we go. Let them out for the night. Oh, there's my timer. I don't want to end it. I don't want to end it. Oh, and look, he's using the litter box. He's using the litter box. Ooh, it's nasty looking. It is nasty looking. Look at all them little poos that he's scraping up with his paws. <laughs> Go potty. Come on, guys. Let's go. And there's strays out here everywhere. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, guys. There's strays everywhere. That's right. Go pee. Now go poo. Have you gone poo yet? Go poo. This large pet poop is the stinkiest and the smelliest of all pet poop. This will prove to be excellent fertilizer for gardening. Wow. Interesting. I wonder if you can sell it. 
stubborn lesson. Cyrus is a stubborn dog. They rarely change their misbehaviors and don't listen when you scold them. Did she not want to go potty? We tried telling her to go potty. Did she go potty? Oh, I think she is. Or he is. Oh, I keep doing it. Stop it, Matthew. Stop it. Stop it. All right, come out here and collect this dog poop because we can't leave this out here all night, honestly. And is Cyrus going to take a poo? Yep, Cyrus just took a poo. You can pick it up and throw it away. Why couldn't I throw away the other poo? Ew, why would you put poo in your inventory? Why would you do that? That's like picking up poop up off the ground outside after your dog took a dump and then putting it in your um in your pocket and it like it's all nasty and mushy. <laughs> it does. It's nasty. It's freaking disgusting. All right guys, it's 9:54 p.m. I think it's time for bed. Everything's pretty much good. Go ahead and come over here and clean that up. We're going to put uh put away the pet toys. Put away that toy and everyone should be heading to bed momentarily. You do need to clean the litter box though, so we'll have you clean the litter box. So, he's just doing some cleaning around the house if you feel me. You also need to mop up this puddle when you get a minute. Clean up, clean up. Everybody do your share. Clean up, clean up. <laughs> there we go. So some cleaning around the house and we might need to hire a maid in the future because there's no way we're going to be able to take care of all of these animals on our own. That's what's scary. What are you doing downstairs? What are you doing? You, you woke up to praise the dog? That made sense. All right, go ahead and head to bed. All right, we're heading to bed too, guys. I wonder if we can call them to go. Oh, ask to lie down. That's cute. All right, so we're going to send everybody to bed. Uh, uh, Sadie, you can sleep down there because I think Cyrus is actually already. Yeah, Cyrus is already heading to sleep. So Sadie, you can head to bed. Go lay down, Sadie. <laughs> this is the cute part. When they come lay down. Are, you don't want to listen? Or are you just moving around? I don't know. Are you, are you going to listen? Are you listening? Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, so cute. And look at how he's walking up the steps. <gasps> that's so cute. Where are you going to sleep at? I hope you're not sleeping in that bed. Because this is our bed. Why do you keep waking up? What's wrong? Go to bed. Why do you keep waking up? Go to sleep. <gasps> they can't sleep together. Shoot. Their relationship isn't good enough to sleep together, guys. That's a problem. All right. Well, since that's a problem, somebody's going to be napping on the couch tonight. <laughs> somebody's going to be napping on the couch tonight. That's going to be you. <laughs> So you can sleep up here. You can nap on the couch. And I'm going to end this part here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up and add it to your favorites. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next part. Bye, everybody. Subscribe to become a pixelator. Ding the bell next to the subscribe button to be notified whenever I upload a new video. All that awesome stuff. And we can even ask the cats to lie down. That's really funny. Uh, links to all my social medias will be down in the description box below. That includes Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Google+, and Twitch. And why did you just waste your time doing that? Go to sleep. Ask them all to go to bed. They all need a good night's sleep. What are you doing up? Oh well. Whatever. Go to bed. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next part. Thank you all for watching. Bye everybody.